After a rough several years, MLP management teams have been forced to rethink their business strategy. As a result, the MLP business model is evolving in a way that we believe is more sustainable, potentially leading to better returns over the long run. We call this new business model MLP version 2.0. Up until 2014, the traditional MLP model worked well, generating attractive returns for investors. But when energy prices slumped and access to capital became less reliable, maintaining this model became more difficult, resulting in distribution cuts, asset sales, and slowing growth rates. We believe this stems largely from MLP's use of incentive distribution rights, or IDRs. IDRs create two separate investor bases, the general partner, where most management teams hold the majority of their personal wealth, and the limited partner, where the public typically invests. These two investor groups often have different interests. For example, IDRs incentivize general partners to maximize distribution growth and pay out all of an MLP's cash flows. General partners will also often use high levels of debt and issue potentially dilutive equity to buy assets rather than fund that growth internally. Some management teams have begun to address the flaws of the traditional model and are taking a new approach to managing midstream energy businesses. This 2.0 version of MLPs starts with merging the general and limited partners and removing those IDRs. This reshapes the incentive structure for management teams and better aligns the interests of all shareholders. While without the IDRs and need to pay an ever greater share of distributions to GPs, businesses have flexibility in how they allocate capital. They're more likely to maintain a higher level of distribution coverage, reduce the use of leverage, focus on core assets and returns on invested capital, use retained equity to fund growth, buy back stock, which was dilutive to the general partner in the old model, and most importantly, rely less on the capital markets. The trade-offs for funding growth internally are lower distribution yields, often the result of a distribution cut, and lower expected growth rates in those payouts. However, we view these trade-offs as a near-term sacrifice for substantially improved investment and long-term growth prospects. We believe version 2.0 is likely to become the norm, and many companies have already announced steps to merge the limited and general partnerships, cut distributions, slow distribution growth, and improve balance sheets. But changes like these take time, and the deleveraging process will likely continue into early 2019. As companies successfully execute these turnarounds, we believe investors will increasingly take notice. Some companies may continue to cling to the old model, but we expect these MLPs will underperform, as it may become increasingly difficult for them to compete going forward. This transition to version 2.0 is occurring at a time when we believe industry fundamentals are strengthening. Commodity markets have been supportive, with prices at levels that are incentivizing increasing U.S. production. U.S. energy exports are rising, and we believe North America will continue to gain market share as a global energy supplier, given our abundant, low-cost, and quick-to-market resource base. We think the shift to better corporate structures, along with these fundamental green shoots, could make MLPs an attractive total return investment opportunity for 2018 and beyond.